Hey guys, it's Jay here, JMD1, and today we have an awesome electric scooter for you to see. This thing is powerful, and with the 2500 watt motor, it can travel at speeds up to 30 miles an hour for 20 to 30 miles. Hey, so. It has some nice 11 inch heavy duty vacuum off road tires, and it features disc braking and superior stopping power. So let's talk a little bit more about this item. It's lightning fast. This machine's got a lot of power and it's a fast little beast of a scooter. The Q30 2500 watt high power motor enables you to easily reach 30 miles per hour. The accelerator is very responsive and located nicely. It can easily cope with 15 degree steep slopes. It has a large capacity and high quality lithium battery. Q30 has a battery that carries 48 volts or 16 amp hours. It can travel up to 20 to 30 miles per charge and recharges to full in as little as 6 hours, making it ideal for suburb and city use. It's also great if you have a short commute to work. You can plug it in when you get to the office and it will be fully charged before you have to go home. The tires also have a high elasticity and wear resistance which makes them super good for not having to worry about getting flats. We have clocked well over 500 miles on these units and they are still going strong. You'll be able to see the shocks bounce just how much movement there is in the front and in the rear from the swing arm assembly. There's a lot of deflection there which allows you to be able to take this thing off-roading. You can see just how nubby the tires are here and they are super heavy duty. This thing has about 500 miles on it and those tires have been on here the entire time. The cool thing that I like about this deck right here is that you could put your foot on this or this. This is super solid and stable. It's not going anywhere. If you look in the back, you can see the turn signal lights, which we're going to show you in a little bit. You come up here, you can see where your turn signal switch is right there. This is your headlight switch, and there's your horn. Over here, we got the key. This is where you turn it on and off. This is your throttle right here and your handlebars. You got brakes on the right side and the left side. The left controls the front, the right controls the rear. Here's our adjustment down here for the handlebars. So all you have to do is flip this back. You can bring this up to whatever height you like, and then you can flip it back in. So it's a quick adjustment. And the cool thing about that is, depending on your height, it goes all the way up to about here. So if you're about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, you're not gonna have a problem, all the way down to about 5'2", five, 5'0". Five this is the display. You can see that the uh, kilometers are on here. This shows you how far you've gone. Your battery level's here, and this is what mode you're in. So down here, you can see you have low, medium, and then high. And it, as you switch that up here, it's gonna tell you one, two, or three. That tells you what mode you're in. This shows you how fast you're going, and ready just means that it's on and ready to go. It does come with the screen protector on it. We leave that on there because we do take these off-road and we beat them up a little bit. We're not too afraid to uh, do some damage to them. If you look down here, you got your headlight. This can be pointed and adjusted depending on where you want it to go. If you want it to shine more on the road, you point it down or closer towards the uh, just the front of you, you can point it back up. But it does come fully adjustable like that. There is a bolt right here so you can tighten that down and that'll make it stay in place real good. But it is pretty well adjusted right out of the box. Like I said, the only thing you have to do out of the box with this is you take this arm here, right where you can see, this is out and this cord or this cabling that goes all the way up to the top is pre-built in. So you take this, you slide it down in the slot and that's it, you're done. There's nothing else you have to build. It has a kickstand right down here, which is very cool. Allows you to park it. This deck is super wide. You can see how wide my hand is. It's bigger than my hand. If we look down here, you can see the advanced braking system right down there. So it does have some really go good brakes. These are like a rotor of a car. So it does just grab onto those. And it does have advanced braking. You got your nut for your axle. You can see the big motor back down in here. You can see the springs down inside of there, which hold everything together. You have charge ports over here, so you have two of them. You have one on the top, 
and one on the bottom. This allows you to charge it fast. So if you want, you can plug in both of these. It'll fast charge, or you can just plug in one and it'll charge overnight. So you can get this thing charged in about six hours if you needed to. If we go towards the front, you can see the front braking system. Right down inside of there, you can see where the brake pads are and the caliper assembly. And there's your rotor right here. It is drilled, which is gonna displace the heat a little bit faster. This thing has no issue stopping, guys. You're able to take it from full speed down to a stop in no time. It'll go 30 miles an hour, as you'll be able to see in some of the clips. It's fast. So that's the overall look of the scooter. We're gonna give you some clips on us riding it so you can see how smooth it is. It's a very nice looking machine. This thing's premium, it's heavy duty. This isn't like some of those cheaper scooters you're gonna buy. This thing will last you a very, very long time. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun. The feeling will change, I'm wide awake. Take me away now. Guys, this is the night view. So how cool does this thing look? There's your tail light, which looks sweet. And then this is the board here. And it's all these cool different colored LEDs. You can see the logos lit up real bright. It's really nice to have this for people to see when they're riding at nighttime. There's the headlight. It's powerful and adjustable. So you can move it up or down. I like to keep mine towards the road a little bit so I get some better views that way. You can see here, everything looks the same as far as the total structure and design here. But you can see how good the LCD looks at nighttime. And like I said, you have the turn signal, so I'm gonna show you that. That's left. Can you see that in the camera is the trick, but you can see there's a line that goes across there. And on the top, you also have this. And then if I go do the right side, you also have your right turn. You can see the, the stream of LEDs right there. And then also on the top. The headlight switch is really easy to use. It's right here where your thumb is. You just flip it up on and off. Center turns off your turn signal, so you're good there. I got this really cool little phone case mount for the top of the handlebars so I can put my phone on there and use it for navigation this tells you approximately how far you have to go and that's in kilometers everything is set up in kilometers initially i believe there's a way to flip it around but i'm pretty good with kilometers so it doesn't bother me whatsoever but that's what it looks like at night let's go dark I'll show you what it looks like that's the beauty of it it's gorgeous at nighttime 
it's a lot of fun that, and it's a lot and it's really nice that you have the ability to ride this at night because the thing glows up like a christmas tree people could see you and you don't have to worry about getting smashed by a car and uh, i just think that's one of the coolest features about it see here the front view just how bright that headlight looks the deck is really cool i love that they did that the tail light is very cool You can see when I hit the brakes, see the brake, the tail light gets brighter, just like a brake light would. So you have brake lights. You have everything you need but mirrors. And I'm gonna get some mirrors for this guy just because I want to be able to see behind me. But like I said, I usually ride out with my kid. That's it, guys. It looks sick at nighttime. It's a very, very cool scooter. Highly recommended. Still full battery. I've been driving for about about two and a half miles, maybe. See, so did a bunny hop right there. <laughs> okay, guys, we're just out here riding at nighttime. How cool is this? So far, so good. It looks good. We're riding here at nighttime, and it it's cool. It's a lot of fun. This is fun, right? So even as adults, sometimes we forget how to have a good time. Having a kid is great because they kind of remind you to be a kid sometimes. And uh, we're just out here cruising the parking lot. You can see better as I get under the parking lot lights. We're flying through here. Having a blast. And the cool thing is that you can ride these at night, right? Because typically if you have one of those small scooters, they might have a little headlight on them. But that headlight is weak. These headlights are powerhouses. You can see that, how bright that headlight is right there. See that? It just shines way in front of you. The cool thing is you can ride these things with one hand. You can buy seats for them. Uh, they do make like a like a little seat that you can put on these if you don't like standing up, but sometimes I get tired of sitting. So I really like it. You can see Hunter behind me there. He's flying around with the GoPro. And, uh, we're just cruising. It gets a little chillier in Arizona at nighttime, but uh, it's not so bad. It's more crispy. I grew up in Northeast Ohio, so I know how it feels to be in the snow. But yeah, guys, I think this is like probably the most fun you're gonna have for a thousand bucks. People spend a thousand bucks on a lot more stupid stuff, and uh, they're not near as fun. This place is really cool. You can see the LEDs on my foot. There's a whole bunch of bumps around here, but the shocks really do well. The tires also have high elasticity and wear resistance, which makes them super good for not having to worry about getting flat. We have clocked well over 500 miles on these units and they are still going strong. There is little to no signs of battery degradation as they still last just as long over time. These scooters come equipped with 160 millimeter disc brakes and EBAS or electronic brake assist. This provides powerful braking force and severely shortens the braking distance. The scooter has a wider deck to stay balanced on and it's got a thickened frame structure. It can carry a heavy load up to 440 pounds. The LCD screen is easy to view. It's large right in the middle of the handlebars making it easy to see how far you've gone and the current battery life. The scooter has an ultra bright front LED headlight that is adjustable. Aside from the headlight, the running boards come with cool colorful LEDs. It's very easy to put together and use. Assembly of the Q30 is stupid easy and took all of maybe five minutes. The bottom deck is already together along with the wheels and brakes. The handlebar simply has to be put on, tightened down, and you're ready to roll. The Q30 has a nice folding design with a folding length of 123 centimeters. It can easily be placed in the trunk of most cars. You'll receive the Q30 in one charger and two pairs of spare brake pads, although this highly depends on you. 
I've been using this for about a year now, almost every day, and I've never had to replace the brakes. Free replacement parts within 180 days if you have anything defective. This allows you to worry less about anything defective from shipping or just initial defects. They have professional technicians that are there for support. These guys know what they're doing and they could easily guide you to fix any minor issues. They also offer 24 hour after the sale service. This thing only costs $1,050 and you can get yours down below in the link. There's also a $55 off coupon going on right now. This might seem like a lot of money, but we've had a lot of electric scooters over the years. These don't even compare to the cheaper three to $500 scooters on the market. They are much larger, faster, the battery life is far superior, and they just feel super strong.